Yo, yo, yo. Peace. This is Y Kim. The other half of the law library with TA and Y Kim. Listen, we're going to teach you your rights, the Constitution, and we're going to tell you the difference between rights and privileges. We're going to talk about many topics housing court, a Supreme Court, civil court, lawsuit, how to defend yourself, how to answer a complaint. We're also going to have people that deal with social work, women that have children that have been involved in the system. We're going to teach you everything we know because guess what? we got to stand up and we got to wake up. You heard me? Peace. Why well, can't? Law Library with T.A. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Law Library Why Kim and T.A. I want y'all to listen to this tape if you can hear it. They got a young man pointing a weapon at two young men claiming to be an off-duty NYPD. He failed to show any ID, did not have a badge on him. So this is a continuation of part one, Citizen versus Cops, the Law Library with Y. Kemp. So right now it's a shouting match based on the alleged off-duty officer trying to run the young men over. What that look like to you? My special guest, Miss Corinne, aka Ladybug. I'm still in shock watching this. But what you find shocking about it? I mean, it's not a surprising situation, but it's just horrifying to watch. He just tried to run. He just tried to hit these young men with his car. And claimed to be an off-duty police officer. And how would they know if he's a cop or he's not a cop? Regardless, what are you trying to hit them for? Keep saying he's a police officer. No proof, no evidence, no badge, no ID. No, bro. Leave him, he's a cop. I don't care, he can't do that. Like, as I'm watching this unfold, like, it's... He don't got nothing in his gun. He don't got nothing in his gun. You better not, boy. Hold him. better not. Hold him to the cops come. Hold him to the cops come. Hold him to the cops come. They repeatedly state that they're holding him to the cops come, but he claims to be a cop, but he has no proof, no ID, no badge. Threaten these young men with a weapon. They tuskling right now. He has the gun out. He pulled the loaded gun on them after trying to hit them with his car. The gun just went off for the first time. Now it went off again for the second time. So the firearm has been discharged twice. And this is in broad daylight. This, this is, is not nighttime. Daylight. This is broad daylight, bright sunny day. Actually, it was in Sunnyside, Queens, or AKA Woodside. Woodside, Sunnyside. Now his brother's in shock. He's been hit. Now, uniform officers arrive on the scene. Crying that he shot his brother. All right, so we want to go into some um, open discussion. Okay. 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 So since this event happened in the first part of this episode, citizens versus cops, uh, the two young men were arrested, charged with attempted murder on the police officer, although repeatedly. As you heard, and as it showed on the video, the 
the man failed to identify himself. He never produced a badge. He never produced any ID connecting him to the NYPD. But since that time, as I was saying, they've been charged with attempted murder, possession of a weapon, even though they did not get the weapon from the person that claimed to be an off-duty cop. But they still was charged. All the charges, you know, is hyped up. NYPD always try to make more than the situation actually is. That's what they do. That's their nature. Um, the goal is to get you locked up, blah, 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 blah. So they did go to court. The young men were indicted. I'm going to go back to that because they was denied the opportunity to go to the grand jury. We're going to talk about that. But I want to bring in um, Ladybug to tell me what she thinks of what she just witnessed herself. Ladybug. Okay. It's a lot to unpack here. Honestly, it's a whole lot to unpack right here. We're going to start with there was no crime initially taking place. These young men were walking down the street. Two brothers walking down the street, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not like there was a fight going on. This is not late at night. Nobody's coming from a party on their way to a party. There's nothing of anyone being intoxicated, public lewdness, laudering, nothing of that nature. They're walking down the street. He's driving. He almost hits them. So the young man, he hits his his window, okay? I'm not going to say if he was right or wrong for that, whatever, but that man did almost hit them. They don't know he's a cop. He's not in a marked car. He's not on duty. He's off duty. He still has never produced a badge or anything else stating that he's a police officer. Right. He gets out the car and he pulls out his gun on them. Right. They go in. They get into a back and forth thing there. Now, that in itself is problematic. Because if you are a police officer, you are trained to handle a situation and de-escalate it. Not escalate it. Okay. And he's clearly escalating the situation. Right. I agree. Because, one, if they ask and so you were a cop, show me your ID. Simple. Same thing in the reverse. is a citizen walking down the street. And this is the law, y'all. If you're walking down the street and the police pull you over, you do, in New York State, have to produce ID. You do. Once you produce that ID, you don't have to subject yourself to a search or anything else. You have identified yourself. You have not committed a crime. There's no warrant on you. You're supposed to be able to freely leave the encounter. But they don't do that. Go, Perlin. Um, But outside of him producing a badge, anything else. Him not producing I mean, him not, pardon me, please correct me. Mm-hmm. Not producing his badge. My question is this. They didn't have a weapon. They weren't threatening him. There was no, no, they didn't produce right. a weapon. They're not throwing anything at him. He's not, where not he, a threat. his life is not in danger. Okay, that's the best way I can put it. Okay. He has no reason to feel as though his life is in danger. So, what was going on that made him feel the, in order to get out of the car, he needs to pull a loaded gun on him? That's outrageous. That sounds like road rage to me. Speaking of outrages, rage, that's, road that's rage. That's a problem. Right. That's a problem. Right. Outside okay. of that, now, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to play devil's advocate here, okay? okay. I'm going to be honest. Every, there's, nothing he's done is correct, okay? I'm not siding with anything he's done. But I am going to say because I am a mother of two black males, okay? okay? And with that being stated, mm-hmm. one of the young men made a statement that scared me. What was that? When he, I don't know if you actually heard it or you. I heard, I, I was able to pick up on it because I'm a parent. Okay. Just and and. I'm a parent as well. But I know, I'm aware that you know I know yeah. that, but okay. I'm just stating as a mom. Mothers are a little bit more sensitive sometimes. I you agree. know, dads are a little like that's why God gave us both. Okay. So we can balance. Okay. Um. With that being said, when a young man was like, "So he didn't shoot me." Oh. Okay. We have to teach our children. Don't say that. Don't say that. I understand you're upset, he did a moment, but that statement, that right. man wanted up shooting him. And yeah. That doesn't make it okay. There's right. no justification. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when we're upset in the heat of a moment, right. and these are young men in their early 20s, right. and out of anger and frustration, confrontational, he said that. But these things are said every day and simple. And how many of our, how many of our children are being buried based on that? Let's be honest. Okay. Okay. That's not I, justifying him. That's mm-hmm. not siding with that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not giving him an excuse. Okay. I'm saying we have to be mindful as parents and as leaders in our community okay. to help change the mindset of the youth around us, to teach them I in agree. certain confrontational situations, even if you feel you 100% right, sometimes learn when to stand down. Okay. 
I learn agree. when to stand down. He was all the way wrong. I'm not saying he's right, but I'm saying the two brothers, I wish that one of the brothers could have calmed the other brother down. And I did hear one say, leave him alone, he's a cop, he's gone. But that cop, he assaulted Thomas Fro. He even passed the first blow from what I saw. Because it wound up becoming a physical altercation before they got shot. But he already had the gun out on them. He was pulling the gun, walking down the street on them. It was outrageous. Okay. All right. But I wish somebody, or I wish one of the on one of the onlookers that was videoing it or something, could have been like, "Your young man, calm down. Like, like let's try to get to the bottom of what's going on." That's why crime interrupters are important. Right, but I don't think nobody was getting out that car. No, that I'm not a, getting out with the gun being pointed. Gun. I'm exactly. not saying I'm not jumping to be shot. I'm not saying that. Exactly. I'm just saying that I wish there would have been a way to de-escalate that. Okay, okay. So that's the issue, right? And um. As a parent, as you was pointing out, I believe that it's necessary for those who do have parents in the home with them, the young men and women that's out there, that there should be some type of uh, training in the house, like what to do. I know a lot of us lack knowledge of our rights. That was the whole point of me and my brother starting the show. May Allah be pleased with TA. But the point is, you do better when you know better. Absolutely. So... Okay, the parent, I believe, should be able to sit down and say, listen, when this happened, if it happened like this, this is your response. Just like when the police stop you, you should be taught to, okay, all of a sudden I'm reaching for my wallet, you ask for my ID. Give them the ID. It's the law. You do have to show your ID upon stop by the police in New York City, New York State, the state right. law. So do that. And then, you know, you go on, you, he, got a, he got a warrant for you or something, that's different. But you want to, like she said, de-escalate. Yo, I don't got to show you shit. No, that's not the right answer. Because you could get blocked up for refusing to identify yourself. And then whatever charge they're going to make. But back to the point. Well, see, um, I, I want to disagree to that. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Okay, you right. listen. Do you have your mic? <laughs> like, we need you to be on see, mic. See, what happened is, all right, because... One of the things that I will say. Okay. One of, one of the things I will say. Y'all hear me? I can hear you. Hear me? Yes. One of the things I want to say, man, is I just had a situation, right? Talk about and it. And I wasn't the driver. And okay. state troopers asked me for my identification. Okay. I refused to give it to them. Right. You're and a I, passenger, and I, though. And, yeah, but why, right. right. I'm a passenger. And you're in Jersey, but go and ahead. I'm in, and I'm in Jersey. Okay. But they asked me, and it was very uh, unprofessional. Ooh. Okay. I'm saying very aggressive. They was they was actually pro- trying to provoke me. I felt in my heart. They oh, one hundred percent. I'm saying that part. So now I'm black. I'm big. Right. So you looking for a reason for me to react crazy? So you can react and, and have because yeah. all a cop have to do is feel afraid and they can shoot you. Right. Y'all know that. that, that is all they have to say. do is state that they you felt, felt afraid. afraid. Yes. Right. Because yes. Right. let's be honest. Yes. So with that being said, I had okay. to get my identification. I gave it just because I had kids in the car. Then I want to set a tone wow. for them. So I'm right. saying, you know what? Let me go against my my, my will and my, my belief mm-hmm. and just say, you know what? To try to make it better just by giving my identification so I won't go nowhere else. But they right. was wrong. Right. I mean, so I don't right. think you should be able to... I mean, come on. Yeah, you know I agree with you that they was wrong. I I, I know the night, well, you was, your guys were dropping me off. Right, so I know right. the night I was, you know, absolutely. y'all just dropped me off. But with that being said, I'm going to be honest with you. I agree. The whole situation was outrageous with that. We know the rest of that. But as adults and as leaders in our community, we have to set an example for for the younger ones. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, and I'm not, people are going to take this how they're going to take it, what I'm saying, but I'm being honest. Stepping down off our pride and our ego for a minute can save our life. And we have to make make it clear to our children. Because right. just that the thing of the back and forth of why I'm not the one driving, and you're dead right. But at the end of the day, they were supposed to ask for both people's <coughs> idea if they want it because either way they do have the right to ask who you are and want your, and want your identification. You understand okay. me? Mm-hmm. Now, the other things they did, they had no right to do. <coughs> I'm not going to speak on that because... But at the same time, we can't have our children thinking... Well, just because they stop, well, what you stopping me for? I don't gotta show you shit. Fuck that. Da, 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 da. Because right. this is what they is. This is what they you use to for. justify killing our kids. 
No, absolutely, but it's now okay. again. This is getting us killed. No, okay. no again. That's we, this part of it. I say we, this, we, this not, part of it. It's more to also, it. I mean, it's we, not as black and white, but you, it, it also, is a component of it. It's definitely right, a component. Exactly. exactly. You've got to also implement certain things, right? Set a tone as a role model and as somebody that's going to lead the situation correctly, right? Okay. That's why I presented the identification. But let's just make this clear. Go. Oh. As a passenger, right, I have certain rights as well. Now, you're right. If they ask for ID, you was right. But before I even give them the ID, I mm -hmm. let them know, I am a passenger. Y'all should be talking to the driver of this vehicle. Well, that's the important point. That's the important yes. point. So you're saying that the door and the stop, they never even said nothing to the they driver. They never spoke they to the driver. They came straight to you. They never had a conversation with the driver. Okay, why do you think that was? I don't know, and I got four tickets. There was a timid... They, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I can't answer. Okay. Okay. I got four tickets. Right. And the last ticket was instruction because I didn't give them my identification. Right. They got me from petitions plates, no okay. insurance, Okay. Um, some of us bogus shit, and then uh, uh, me not giving them my ID. And what was the end result? Tell the audience. The end result was I had to stop my my, my work, mm. go to Jersey two times, spend an Uber, mm. damn near two hundred dollars each time. Doing what? Inconvenient, trying to fight a case, letting these people going know it court. wasn't me going to and court. And what was the end okay. result at court? In result, they dropped the okay. case. But whoa! Right. Okay. Before they dropped the case, okay, they put all, you all that they bullshit. put me through a whole bunch exactly. of things. Now again. I hear everything you're saying, and I'm big on setting the tone and trying to do the okay. right thing. But you also want to let the kids know you have to stand for something. And just because somebody's a cop or, or in a position, they have to follow rules and regulations as well. I agree. Exactly. Everybody has to follow rules yeah. and regulations. I do agree with that. Yeah. And the only thing I'm saying is... It's the way we express ourselves sometimes. I'm not saying no one has to anyone else follow rules and regulations. Okay. I'm not saying just because they're a cop, they can do any. Right. No, they can't. Excuse right. me, guys. Right. Yeah. They, they can do they any can. whatever they want. So that's right. not what I'm saying. I'm right. not saying cow down and right. put your tail between your legs. That's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm okay. saying it's the way we handle it sometimes. Right. I, I, so, so sometimes rather than ask, mm -hmm. okay, why am I being stopped over? So just in a calm, even tone. Just the annoyance of being stopped. A lot of younger people, even grown older people, whatever age right. bracket, but you see it a lot within the late teens, early twenties. Yo, what you stopping me for? What's oh, this yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Did, 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 did. Yeah. Coming across all aggressive. Yeah. That right. doesn't help. No, it doesn't. It doesn't help I us. I it, you understand? Right. I mean, it clouds the situation, mm -hmm. and then they use that against yeah, us. It doesn't right. work in right. our favor. Never. This but is what I'm saying. Never works in our favor. It would be a good idea yeah. if we did role playing with our with our children, our uh, nieces, our nephews, mm -hmm. our family right. members. Right. That if we right. took time, role you playing. Okay, you if you were being stopped right. right now, like how would you how would you respond? Like right. let's just go through this. Let's see what this looks like. Let's run. Right. Let's run this through. Right, 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 right. I agree. With That's you all that. I'm saying. That. So that way there can be a script in place that they know how to answer these questions. Right. Absolutely. They know how to respond. They know. Where to keep their ID? Where it's someplace accessible where no one can think if you're driving, they can't see you reaching. You don't got to go under, down, because that's gonna be an excuse to say, "Oh, he was reaching for something." And right. That's why I shot him. Right. right, right. So that that falls under that makes sense. critical and consequential thinking. Right. You know, but they got to be on the ball. You can't be dull with it. The officer, all right. You want my ID? I'm just letting you know. I'm taking my right hand, going in my right pocket, and I'm gonna pull out a black wallet. This is not a gun. Right, I let them get it, yep. You understand? Or you can even do that. Yeah, did, that's right. what I did. Yes, and then the first thing they're going to say, you got anything sharp or needles in they your pocket? That. That they said that. Right, because they they, all black people got AIDS. It's, yeah. it's stigmatized yeah. or do it. Yeah. So basically what we're saying at the law library tonight in the last episode, the second part, and ending and wrapping it up of cops versus citizens, citizens versus cops, is that there's a way to address these issues, right? Right. Yeah where you can uh, achieve a favorable outcome. Right. Because if you comply with every order that they give you, then now what? You got to be free to go. Unless, I ain't talking about the ones who got a warrant. Right. I ain't talking about the right. ones who wanted for robbery. I right. ain't talking about the violators of parole and probation. No, but, but see. But it's how see, you. But, but see, but, I mean, don't think I'm being the one that's being negative on this panel. No, nah, I ain't saying I don't feel that you're being that. I'm, I'm aware of the I'm whole thing this. of what took place. But let me what what, what, what Kim just said by saying apply and just do what they say and then they're going to let you go. I have seen it go the wrong way. So okay. have I. That. So have I. I'm and being honest. Many, so have I. They just had to let. They had to let about 40 inmates leave. 
because it was a crooked detective on false paperwork. Oh, right. That happened. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. these people lied. Right. Even under after oath. they obeyed, under oath, and they yeah. obeyed, and they still lied because they don't like the offer and maybe what they was driving or how much money they found. Yo, it, okay. it, it gets crazy. It do. Even if you apply, it's sometimes what, that don't work. What? Okay, right. All right. So but, now, what do you think? Okay. Now, let's say we get stopped, mm -hmm. right? I'm one of the 40 people before we go and get locked up or whatever. Okay. So we get stopped. Now, I got a parole violation warrant. That's I've been different. sticking up all week. That's different. But listen, let me okay. finish. Let me right. finish. I'm going to tell you what don't happen. Okay. And I'm not encouraging this to happen. Right. So I got all these. I'm hot. Not hot in the sense of snitching. I'm talking right. about I'm doing dirt. I'm laying dirt, right. burning rubber, and getting out of there. Mm -hmm. And I got the, I got to produce this ID because we don't got stopped. Right. Now, what do I do when it's my turn? Yo, you, where's your ID? Mm -hmm. I know they're looking for me. One, I'm going to be a dummy for having my real ID anyway. Right. But I don't want to. What ID would you have? I don't, but it's time. I'm not trying to teach criminology. Okay. I was just curious. Trying, you said it. I could, I'm sorry. Y'all right. know I'm a curious right. kind of person. So right, I was right, like, wait right. a minute. You mean you could have somebody else's ID and All it's going to come up as you? Yes, wow. Yes, How'd that work? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm curious. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. But I ain't going to answer that. Okay. Don't answer on the air, but I, I you got to tell me when we get off. I refuse to incriminate Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fifth Amendment right to I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. And that applies to y'all too. In the audience, you have a fifth amendment to remain silent. Yo. So, okay. After the so, next show, I'm making some phone calls to find out okay. how this works. Somebody gonna explain gonna this to me. I'm oh, curious. Okay, whoever's watching, I'm not a part of that. <laughs> All right. So right. here it is. Let me finish this. I off. won't tell so, who told so, me. So here it is. I know what's gonna happen next, but I also know unless you really, really at the end of that rope, if you Fake like you go and get your ID and you really planning on bringing that burner up yeah. and popping off right then and there, mm -hmm. your ass is done. Mm -hmm. You made the choice. You're done. Your choice, did you, you know, choice so on you. you could pull your ID out, let all the warrants drop, go fight it, or you could pull that thing out and hold court in the street, which these people do not do now. Don't Please don't do that. The 70s. Yeah. No, I'm not, in, like I just said, I want to be absolutely clear. Right. These are the two choices right. because it's a part of critical and consequential thinking. So the generations before me, when the Black Panthers, the uh, uh, neighborhood patrols and all that, even though they had uh, license and permissions to carry guns because they uh, enforced their right to bear arms and patrol their neighborhoods, if you would have had them now, it wouldn't be our people shooting our people on the street. Right, right. Okay? So... Fast forward, 2023. You got to either comply or you or you don't. See, I, so you I, know yeah. that's going down a whole nother yeah, road. Yeah, yeah, catch 22. To that. That's I, going down a whole nother road. Yeah. That's so I mean, and I, like I, I said, I, I don't, it's not that black and white because I like you said earlier, okay. you yeah. can comply and do everything you're yeah. supposed to do, and things can still go left. Absolutely. So I'm not gonna right. say it's that simple. Nothing in life is black and white. We have to be honest. Life is filled with variations of gray. That's when the invisible force of consequences and circumstances come in place. Right. Okay. It's no black and white, like you said. Exactly, it's not. That's Only thing that I'm man. stating is, mm -hmm. please, please, let's be aware of the way we carry ourselves. Let's be aware of when we're stopped. You don't got to okay. go back and forth all the time. Sometimes, and sometimes, let's be honest, sometimes you'll be dead ass wrong. Okay. Some it's not like we always being right. stopped for no reason at all. That like we haven't done nothing. Right. We can't portray that either. We have to be honest all the way around the board. Yeah, but now watch this. Now let's be fair and let's be clear. Right. Being that you said it, let's just be clear on something, right? About what? what happened is this: if something has been, <clears throat> if something has been done wrong from the beginning, mm -hmm. how do we correct it? Because they need to do reinforcing training and getting okay. back into that. Because watch this. Mm -hmm. Cops are shooting a kill now, even when you don't got a pistol. What happened to the right. taser? Right. What happened to bringing okay. them down to a place where you can arrest them by tasing them, shooting okay. them in the leg? Right. They going for heads now. I agree. They well, going for the chest. It ain't now. It's always been. No, but what happened? But it's, it's, right. it's a lot more frequent. It's a lot more frequent right now. Okay. And when do they enforce that to change? Okay. 
they coming in this way. Right, right, right now that's the uh, culture of most police forces wow. because everybody represents a threat. Then you got cultural barriers. You know, some of them police grew up in Long Island or whatever the suburb is, and the other people that they confront and they're patrolling and they're supposed to be protecting are uh, urban and in the city. And it's a class with coaches. Like, you can have a household that's taught all black men are a threat. Mm -hmm. That shit still go on, bro. I but I got a question. I have a question. Well, I have a question. What's this is my question, okay? Go. Okay, you can have a household that's taught all black men a threat. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. But what about when we are treated a lot more harshly by the, by, the, by the badges Hands that down. look like us? Hands down. Because they weren't taught that all black men are a threat because You're they're right. black and brown men themselves. Uh, but yeah, So let's cool. be honest with that. We're, so let's not make it that simple. Because a lot of times we treat each other worse. Absolutely. But here it is. Here it like, is. Here absolutely. It is. Here it is. Here you go to answer to that. That was your question. This is my answer, my opinion. Okay. That's called integration. What is integration? That's when you come from one culture to another culture and... If you feel that being a part of that culture is more better and beneficial for you, you integrate to that. So what does that mean in relationship to your question? What that means to me, in my opinion, is that, yeah, you got young black men, and I've said this on other episodes, we need to have more of our people in the system. But what you're talking about when they teach you worship them is now... The little punk that was getting his lunch taken in junior high school. Get to that uh, point. That, that's your, the part. That, that part. That, same, that part. That, yeah, that is this. They live on the same floor with you, right? The little dude uh, uh, was the little guy. He was always too short, and everybody pushed him around. Yeah, he yeah. looks like that's you. Right, yeah. Now, he doesn't hang out with you. He doesn't get a record. He takes the test. He passed the test. He gets into the academy. He now graduates get from the academy. Get back. He gets the uniform. He gets the badge. He gets the gun. Watch the fuck out. Yeah, get back. Watch the fuck out. Right. Because yeah. he could come in the neighborhood yeah. without a problem. Because right. that's where he come from. Right. But now he's on patrol. He see little Johnny that was smacking him for his milk and cookies in kindergarten. Yeah. Trying to get up on the motherfucking wall. I know you got something. Absolutely. You understand? That's how. So treating... Our own harshness, it's a lot of psychological damage. There's a lot of trauma in there. Yeah. It's integration. Yeah. Now I'm down with the wall of the blue. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever I do. Absolutely. So that's my answer to that. But okay, in the end result, the conversation could go on and on, ladies and gentlemen. We had our opinions for Corinne, a.k.a. Ladybug. Uh, Polo, my producer, chimed in. The topic is good and expansive. Me and we're going to go back to it. Because what I want to say is, on the other side of the coin, y'all saying that there's more police shootings of black men, but guess what is even more? It's more shootings of young black men, of other young black men. And we're going to talk about that in the next episode with our uh, hands up, guns down. And my special guest is going to remain those who, who are here now. Corinne, a.k.a. Ladybug, yes. and Polo. And yes. if anybody got a comment about it, hit like and subscribe. Let's talk about it. Let's get it out there. Because it ain't just the police, black or white, killing us. Exactly. It's us looking in the mirror and shooting first. Mm. For what reason? Oh, he got a different color than I got. Right. Oh, he live on the next block. Oh, he lives in the next building. Mm -hmm. Not even getting out your uh, uh, early 20s of... Uh, teens, then you ain't got no training for shooting, but we're going to talk about this and you're hitting the grandmother, you're hitting the baby in the stroller, you're hitting yeah. other non in your language ops. Yeah, that's crazy. Grandmother can't be your op. That's right. How? She's 80, 90 years old. You 17, 18, 19, yeah. 20. Yeah. Now don't you know? get it. Don't so, get it. Don't get so, it twisted though. You got grandmas. I, like I was getting ready what? to say. I was getting ready to say. Stop. I was getting ready to say. Uh, you getting ready to go into that. You got right, some got grandmothers that will pop off. But good night, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Thanks for tuning in to the law library. Why can't